Hi there guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while, I know. I'm sure in the previous video I said, oh, um, there'll be constant updates and everything and here we are two months later. But not to worry, um, there's been a couple of things which I've had to sort out and also a career change. I've got a new job and I've just had to sort all that out first before I could focus on here. But if you are feeling of need of my social interactions then of course you are more than welcome to follow me on my instagram page where i update every single day and post all the time but today's video is looking at tote bags tote bag is an essential especially when you're popping out shopping or anything my vibe at the moment is a small little bag to keep all of my necessities in and then the tote bag to put all of the stuff that you don't really need but you think that you're going to need throughout the day now Living in the UK, at the moment we're having this wonderful weather, it's highs of 22. Of course, living in the UK, you never know where you are one day to the next. Today, I'm, I'm literally burnt to a crisp. Tomorrow, I could be walking out in a raincoat with an umbrella, and then the next day I could be having a woolly hat with a scarf and a jumper on. So, a tote bag is such an essential for the UK, as well as myself. I thought why not do a what's in my tote bag edition so there's a lot of stuff in here at the moment so if you haven't already done so please go and grab yourself a drink depending on when this is going up I mean you can go and grab an apple spritz I don't encourage drinking but why not you only live once grab a drink of your choice and let's get into the video just before we start this video I'm just going to make a disclaimer that I haven't messed with this bag at all i've literally just come back from having a coffee with my friend and this is what's in there so we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it now tote bags tote bags are quite frankly the love of my life i don't need any man at all as long as i've got a tote bag i'm absolutely fine with it um but i am in love with this tote bag at the moment uh this is the one that i'm using so this is from uh, soho Soho Home, I guess. I think it's Soho. It's 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 Soho Living, Soho Home, and all that. And I bought it when I went to Bista, actually. Um, and it's a hundred percent cotton. It's easy. I think it's quite a fitting fitting tote bag, and it goes with everything and anything. What I really like about it is that there's a base to it, and not many of my tote bags that I've got it has a base. But anyway, so. Let's dive straight in, shall we? As I recently mentioned, living in the UK, you don't know where you are to the next with weather. So the first thing I've got is this Cos um, jumper, navy jumper, because I feel like navy goes with anything. I was wearing a white shirt today, um, and if it goes a little bit chilly, then I would put it over it or just fling it on my shoulders. So that is the first thing. I'll be surprised if there is not a brolly in here. Okay, oh, right, here we are. Contrast, I've got a Sun Factor 30. This is needed. I burn like a crisp. Uh, nickname should be Drumstick because one moment I'll be white and the next I will be pink. And I mean, it, jumper and sun cream, honestly. Okay, so the next thing I have got is, of course, living in COVID times, I've got a mask. Uh, this is a mask which I actually bought from Waterstones the other day and it's from the British Museum. Um, and I, I'm sure this is called like the Big Blue Wave. I mean, it says it on the tin, doesn't it really? But what I love about this mask is that it's like three sections. Anyone that wears glasses and has to wear a face mask, pfft, nah, just not working, is it? It's just not happening. Um, but with these ones, I find that it does because it can literally put it over here over my nose and then my glasses sit on top of it and it's actually all right and it doesn't steam up my glasses um, and it's a pretty thick mask as well and one of the main selling points it comes in a little dust bag i love things that come in a dust bag next one let's get on onto the books shall we so i've got two books in here and I've got one book, which is the book which I'm reading at the moment, and it's called The Salt Path. Uh, my best friend Isabel lent it to me, and I've only, only I've literally just started. I'm only on uh, chapter two. Um, but as, as far as I've read, yeah, it's okay. 
I can't really give a review, can I? Because I'm only on the second chapter. And then the other one is a little notebook, which I made little notes in. Um, because as much as I love going on my phone and as much as I'm very intertwined with social media, um, I just, I can't process anything unless it's written down on paper. I just don't know why. I can't, I can't have it on my phone. Like I need to actually physically write it. And this is a Pangaea one. Uh, this notebook is made from bamboo fibers. Um, and this was one of my leaving gifts from work when I used to work at Selfridges and I use it literally every single day. They got me more than a notebook. I mean, I was the place. I don't know if my mom and my nan are the only people that say this. I'm sure there isn't. I'm sure there's plenty of moms and nans out there that say it. But they're always like, oh, oh, never, never just fling your things in a bag which is open because you never know you could just take it. And I was always like, oh, for God's sake. But that being said, yes, okay, this might not seem a big bag. But when your wallet, when you only use cards and you've got like a small little card wallet and you've got all of this junk already in the bag and you're just there at the cash out and you're like, and you're trying to like find it, it's a little bit embarrassing. So don't you fear, I've got you covered. Well, I say I have, Arquette has. Um, and it's a little, it's like sort of like a little toiletry uh, bag. I bought this actually last year uh, from Arquette, but I think it, they do it all year round and they do it in different colours. I've got a green one and a black one and I think they've got a navy one as well. Uh, but last year when we thought we were coming out of the <laughs> first lockdown, um, I was thinking, well, I need to stock up on these because I'm going to go travelling. I'm going to go everywhere. I'm going to go this. I'm going to go that. Um, and then the uh, second, third, fourth and fifth lockdown came in place, didn't it? But these are a lifesaver because you can literally cram everything in there. You can put it in a tote bag and you're good to go um, instead of like sort of fishing around. Um, and I think they're only like sort of £20 or so, which I mean, for our cat, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I'm sure you can get something cheap from like Muji or somewhere like that. But anyway, let's dive in there, shall we? So the first thing I have got are my Ray-Ban sunglasses, which I need to be careful of because this is coming off. Um, I bought two pairs of uh, Ray-Bans. Oh. You can never have too many Ray-Bans. Um, and these are sort of like the traditional ones, but they have got a tortoise shell on the side. Um, I bought these when I was, when I went to Dubai um, because I really wanted them and I had a bit of a crappy two weeks before I went, so it's just like, you know what? Let's go for it. Um, so that's what I've done. And then we've got these ones as well, which are cool. But I do find that these two sunglasses will suit me for any occasion. Um, these are a little bit more smarter. And then the other ones, actually, I just wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I actually, they're actually my uh, work sunglasses. That I can just throw in my hair when you're having a bad hair day. Just put the sunglasses in and you're good to go. Anyway, what else have we got? We've got a pack of tissues, some wonderful tissues. I mean, this is riveting content, isn't it? Um, then I've got my wallet. This is my uh, Louis Vuitton wallet. It isn't actually a wallet though. It's, um, what is it? It's classed as a passport holder or a document holder. Um, and yeah, sometimes when I'm carrying notes or something, I'll um, take it in there. So it's a lot easier. Then I've got my other wallet, which is a Gucci black um, card holder wallet. But honestly, I change my wallets all the time. Um, you know, just to keep it alive, keep it sparkling. Um, I've got my AirPods because I never leave the house without these AirPods. I never leave, I, I just cannot, I cannot get on public transport and not listen to music. Um, it's strange, like I'll still be listening to music whilst I'm reading a book. Weird. And what have we got? Okay, so we have then got this, which actually is rubbed off. That's something we could improve on, isn't it? 
Zara. One of the collaborations that Joe Loves have done with Zara and it's Ebony Wood. My cousin bought me this for Christmas and honestly, oh my God, I'm in love with it. Um, I have a lot of things with Joe Loves and Joe Malone. I used to work for Joe Malone um, and I've got a lot. I've got an IGTV uh, series on my Instagram account. So if you want to go and check that out, you're more than welcome to. But this collaboration is honestly one of the best. It's a paintbrush, so it's a gel-like formula. So you literally press it down here and then you just paint the skin. And I actually find that it lasts longer on my skin than a spritz. Whole collection is unisex, as well as uh, Joe Loves is unisex and Joe Malone. Um, it's loved by both men and women. So check it out, check it out. Oh. We've got a Aesop uh, hand balm. Um, so this is the, in the Mandarin, Rosemary Leaf and uh, Cedar. This is, just incredible. I've actually got this in the hand wash as well. I bought this from Brighton um, when I went nearly a year ago and it's still lasting me. Does the job, does the trick. The next one, we have got the Cowshed Alcohol Hand Gel. Uh, Cowshed is, I think, Soho Home own Cowshed or they, there's a partnership there or something because in all of the Soho uh, hotels, and um, Soho Farmhouse, when you go there, it's literally kitted out with uh, cow shed. Uh, you can get this from like Waitrose, John Lewis, uh, but I purchased this uh, from the Bista Village um, outlet. It's really good. To be honest, when I'm using that, I don't really need the hand cream, um, but I'm just extra and I use it all the time. Um, what else have we got? We've got paracetamol because you never know when you're gonna be hungover, like every day. Um, Dextro tablets, um, because I'm a diabetic, not many people know about this, but I'm a diabetic and sometimes it's easy just to have these in my bag in case I'm feeling a little bit wobbly and then I just pop one and then I'm uh, good to go. The lights are back on me. Uh, I've got a Carmex, uh, just a classic lip balm, um, moisturiser, SPF 15. I'm very on to all this SPF now because I'm I've made a pact with myself yesterday that I'm never going to burn again. Ha! Ah, does the Pope wear a funny hat? Um, and then I've got this. Now this looks a little bit rude. I know it does. Stop it, stop it. You said it, I didn't. You're thinking it, I said it. Um, it's a lint roller. It's a lint roller from Muji and it's honestly one of the best. Um, it's so compact, you know. Ooh. Um, and you can get the you can get the refills which I do need to and if you're like me and you're a clean freak I'm constantly like this all the time so yeah so that is a necessity and I believe that is it out of there give me a moment I'm going to put all these back in so begin the montage Thank you so much guys for joining in and watching this video. If you've got this far, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I love creating all these videos and hopefully, I'm fingers crossed, I will be creating a lot more content. Um, when I've got summer off soon, there will be vlogs coming out left, right and centre. There's loads of trips which I've got planned with friends uh, during the summer time. And don't you worry, there will be content coming your way. Thank you so much for joining in. Please stay safe. Keep well, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.